Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Resbuscar Brian or whatever you know by and today I'm bringing you a brand new Fallout 4 video. We left off, we had just built the giant teleporter to go into the institute and now we're walking over there right now to use it. So hopefully you guys enjoy, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab some fucking rocks, and let's get into it. God damn, that thing is so big already. Is it ammo? This is randomly ammo. There's just ammo ran. I can't. Here we go. Can't speak English today. There's ammo just randomly about. There we go. Now I now I said it. All right. So I'm gonna go put some shit away first. Piper. We haven't traveled with her in a while. We should probably take Piper, right? Piper. Oh, damn. Head my way. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to right. Sure, let's go. We'll do. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least not if I have my say. I had to give her something else to wear. I don't know what I want to give her. I got it. Perfect. There she is. She's looking fucking good. My nose itches. Okay, so let's fuck that. Talk to Sturges. Here we go. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do I'm this. ready. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up. Sounds good, searches. <laughs> Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. <coughs> Hi, Piper. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. I, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, what they're up to. Yeah, th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. I don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. Fuck yeah, teleportation. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I made it, I'm here. Ooh.
Oh, I need to load hollow tape. Dude, I don't know which one it is. Network scanner, maybe? Here we go. Hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're <coughs> quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Yeah, that's not sketchy. Undamaged camera. Institute lab coat. Oh, it just got dark all of a sudden. That was weird. Useless. Inaccessible. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. That's awkward. <clears throat> I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. It's so beautiful. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, Countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted oh. by those above ground. That's awkward. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you see, <laughs> things above are. <coughs> Unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. There he is. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? These bad people, they... They stole you from me. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Those bastards. They... They killed your father. What's going on? Father? Father! I'll kill them for this. All of them. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Damn Father? it! Father? Father, help Sean, me! Sean, open the door! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Oh. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme <coughs> emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. 
and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I could kill you. Right here. Right. Now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. I want answers, asshole. Now! Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize... Fuck off, this cunt! ...situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well... Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Bullshit. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth, think about it. <clears throat> in the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, <coughs> and now its leader. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, Members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. <coughs> and so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you wanted. But it's the only truth I can offer you. Prove it. You're my son? Then prove it. Now. I've already told you how I came to be here. I don't know what further proof I can offer that would convince you. I've shown DNA you... DNA test. Your weapons haven't been <clears throat> confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please. Let's just talk. I want out of this place. Now. I had certainly hoped we could work together. 
But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to s understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. So just kill him now? Fuck it. Oh! That fallback. He's dead. I, I... We need the key. Jammed. What, I can't get him? Don't have the key. Now we're exiting the institute after I killed him. He said that he was the son, but I didn't know. I don't believe it. No way. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. All systems nominal. They're just gonna let me kill him and just walk out like it's nothing? It's like a serious assassination right here. This place looks so beautiful though. But fuck them. Off, bitches. Uh. Oh, shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. I went in there, killed them, and killed two other people, and then fucking dipped out of there. 
some world star shit right there, man. Okay, so now I'm back in here. Talk to Preston Garvey about the Institute. Does ever get that feeling when you have something in your your throat and you just can't get it out? It's fucking disgusting. Garvey. Hello, ma'am. I've made my choice. The Institute is now our enemy. I always knew that day was coming. The question now is what are we going to do about this? I don't think we have enough troops to go on the offensive yet. I agree, General. And even if we were strong enough, we don't have any way to attack the Institute yet. Give Sturgis that data you swiped from the Institute. With in the meantime, we can focus on building a uh -huh. no half measure. Mm -hmm. I've got mm -hmm. something for you to do right now. Uh -huh. Another settlement has sent word. Here's where they are. Yeah? Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Let's hope we got something we can use. Well, they sure aren't gonna fall for that teleport hijacker trick twice. Even if it wasn't a smoking pile of scrap metal. Uh, all the good stuff on here is gonna be encrypted. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Cool. <clears throat> Hey, Piper. You hungry? These always keep me going. Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves. Uh-huh. Is everything okay between us? I suppose things are all right. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? That was all I had. All right. Well, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> I'll probably do a bunch of all this stuff off camera. Have I not even taken back the castle yet? Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, 28 minutes. That's not too bad. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for the next part. And hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out.